Raw Power 3 adds the ability to work directly with the Files app, in addition to the Photos library as seen here. This feature is great for people who don't want to store all their images in the Photos library, either because it would consume too much iCloud storage space or to separate their personal from professional photos. To access the Files part of Raw Power, you can tap the Files button at the bottom of the album view. There is a button on the bottom left which will open the Files browser. From there, you can select images to import into Raw Power. These images will not be copied into the Photos library. I tap the Select button, pick some images to import, and now they're imported. In fact, you can even import images right off of an SD card using the Apple SD card adapter. To do that, plug in the SD card adapter, press the, fl the plus button, and select the images directly off the card. One more way to get images into the files part of raw power is through a share extension. I'll demonstrate that using Photoshop Express. I've got an image here in Photoshop Express and I'm going to try different effects. I'll just try that one. No, try this one. Then I tap the share button, scroll down to the more, and in this first row here you'll see copy to raw power. The extension runs and then opens raw power, adds the image, and goes directly into the editing interface for further work. This image has now been copied into the raw power files container. While in files, you can rate, flag, filter, and even non-destructively edit your images. The editing data is stored in a sidecar file located in the raw power container in the files app. For example, I can rate this image by just swiping up with my finger. I can flag images as well. Or filter. In the grid you can also filter and change the sort order. You can jump back to the photo side at any time by tapping the photos button in the bottom of the view just like the files button you saw earlier. That's a quick view of files in Raw Power 3. Thank you.